Well, it's happened again. I've actually gone to defend Republicans. Alright, here we go. On the discussion of replacing Antony Scalia. Yes, Obama constitutionally is supposed to nominate someone. That's his job. However, as far as I know, nothing in the Constitution gives a deadline on what Congress has to agree with. In fact, as far as I know, constitutionally speaking, they could, in theory, just never agree to anything. For all, I, I, I'm not a constitutional scholar, but as far as I know, we couldn't theoretically just never have a replacement for that seat. Now, of course, that'd be stupid and insane, going on levels that go beyond even Trump and Cruz. But, as far as I know, it can be done. As far as I know, there is no limitation on this. There is no deadline. He has a constitutional... Ah... Uh, duty! <laughs> There's the word! Constitutional duty to make a nomination. But they have no constitutional duty to accept it. And before you complain about them being obstructionists, first off, well, yeah, you're surprised. But the thing is, this is one of those things that both sides of the aisle do. We do the dance long enough to try to deflect what doesn't give us an advantage. Am I happy about it? No. I would much prefer Obama nominate somebody and Congress just roll over, but, hmm, you know, it's nothing new, and as far as I know, they are not doing anything non-constitutional. Us liberals need to stop crying over it.